Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the free operating system Ubuntu 9.04, the release candidate. So Jaunty here is available for download from this website. Go ahead and download it for free, create the CD image and boot up your PC with it. And you can choose the option to try it out without installing it. So that's what I did. I actually booted it up and tried it out. It doesn't need anything fancy to install, right? Of course, if you've got a good system, then you'll be able to make use of all the nice visualizations and the 3D cube and all of that. But if you've got the basics, that's okay. Try it out, right? You don't need to commit and, and install the whole thing. So that's what I did. I booted it up, went through the install process, and this is what you get, right? This is Ubuntu. This is what it looks like, the workspace. And here are the menus on the top left corner with all the options that have been previously in Ubuntu before a few new options now and we'll go through this in, in more videos about about the new Ubuntu release but I'm sure you want to go into the appearance option right off the bat that's where you're gonna want to go in and do some tweaking on the look and feel and the um, the styles the themes and so forth right so you can easily change that if you don't like the default orange uh, type of brown colors that come with Ubuntu by default right that's the trademark uh, color scheme that it has so no problem you can go ahead and change that to whatever it is that you want but uh, let's start off by t by looking at this first so you can see how easy it is to go ahead and enable those visuals right a lot of people ask me they've installed Ubuntu and they can't get certain uh, visualizations to, to work well that's because they didn't go into the add remove option and uh, install the compiz option so type in Compiz here at the top. When you go into the Add Remove, it'll find the Advanced Desktop Effects. And that's what you want to install and add on to it. So just check off the box for the Compiz uh, Advanced Desktop Effects here. And after you've done that, basically, you'll be able to take um, advantage of all those neat effects that you've seen before in Ubuntu okay so I go ahead and add that install it it downloads it from the internet it's great because it detected my wireless card it detected my my uh, laptop screen everything was configured perfectly I didn't have to worry about drivers or anything so this release is really working very well compared to the previous release that I had which I had to do much more tweaking to get connected wirelessly now after you've gone in, you have to go into the uh, advanced desktop effects, of course, and enable the 3D cube, enable the rotation, enable all of these features by checking off the box and learn, of course, what are the key combinations to uh, actually invoke them, right, and get them to work. You can obviously select and configure it to be one big cube, and that's what uh, you've probably seen in previous uh, releases of Ubuntu. And that's what you would do in this case, right? So go through the options. You can see my previous Ubuntu videos on the previous versions of this OS. I've described how to enable many of these. And uh, it's basically the same deal on this new version. But look at this. Now you've got also this round um, uh, version of the cube. So it's a cylinder basically instead of a cube, right? That's been in the previous release too. But by default, I've enabled it here so you can see. So this is for version 9.04 right I'm using the uh, GTK record my desktop I've added that so I can record my screen um, it comes with open office that's the equivalent to Microsoft Office right it comes with your BitTorrent uh, and other types of utilities for downloading the GIMP image editor it comes with um, a suite of games which you would expect just like in Windows it comes with a whole bunch of accessories so you can burn your CDs um, manage your disks um, and do all, all of the the different types of things that you would expect in an operating system. It has easy access to all your drives. And look at this, I've got an external drive which I've partitioned and I actually have OS 10 and Vista uh, installed on this external drive and it detected them. Okay, so that's good. It mounted those drives hassle-free. It detected everything. So not only does it have the driver support for my display, my laptop, and uh, it recognized uh, everything properly, and I got online hassle-free. But um, it has the capabilities of recognizing other operating systems, uh, partitions, and, and uh, file systems, so that's great. And of course, 
um, it will have other new options which we'll have to discuss and review in more videos right we'll have to go through all the new features the differences from the previous release of Ubuntu and I'll do that in my next video so this is part one in part two we'll go over some of the new specifics that are different in Ubuntu 9.04 okay so if you're uh, wondering about Ubuntu and you want to try it out but you don't want to install it well no problem go ahead and download it boot up from the CD and choose the option to just try it out and um, and then you'll be able to do what I'm doing right now and uh, see what you think okay so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, thank you for watching